क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व इक्वल वेट्स ऑफ मर्करी एंड आयोडीन आर अलाउड टू रिएक्ट कम्प्लीटली टू फॉर्म अ मिक्सचर ऑफ मर्क्यूरस एंड मर्क्यूरिक आयोडाइड लिविंग नन ऑफ द रिएक्टेंट्स कैलकुलेट द रेशो बाई वेट ऑफ एच जी टू आई टू एंड एच जी आई टू फॉर्म लेट द वेट ऑफ मर्करी एंड आयोडीन बी डब्ल्यू ग्राम and weight of iodine forming hg i2 b x gram therefore weight of iodine forming hg2 i2 will be w minus x gram now writing the reaction for the formation of hg i2 hg plus i2 forming hg i2 now weight of iodine here is x gram now applying now applying the principle of atom conservation on mercury we can write moles of mercury is equal to moles of hg i2 because on the reactant side one mole of mercury contains one mole of mercury atoms and on the product side one mole of hg i2 contains one mole of mercury atoms applying principle of atom conservation on iodine we can write 2 into moles of iodine is equal to 2 into moles of hg i2 again on the reactant side one mole of iodine contains two mole of iodine atoms and on the product side one mole of hg i2 contains two moles of iodine atoms 2 two, two gets cancelled and moles of iodine is equal to moles of hg i2 and moles of hg is equal to moles of hg i2 therefore we can also write that moles of hg is equal to moles of iodine therefore now moles of iodine will be x divided by molecular weight of iodine that is 254 and moles of iodine is also equal to moles of hg i2 so moles of hg i2 can be written as x divided by 254 moles now we know moles of mercury is equal to moles of iodine which is equal to x divided by 254 therefore weight of mercury involved in this reaction will be moles of mercury multiplied by 
atomic weight of mercury that is 200.6. Coming to the next reaction, mercury reacts with iodine to form Hg2I2. Now applying principle of atom conservation on mercury, moles of mercury is equal to 2 into moles of Hg2I2. Applying principle of atom conservation on iodine, 2 into moles of iodine is equal to 2 into moles of Hg2I2. 2 2 gets cancelled. Therefore, moles of I2 is equal to moles of Hg2I2. Or we can also say that moles of Hg2I2 is equal to moles of iodine. Now, in this case, weight of iodine taking part in the reaction is W minus X gram. Therefore, moles of iodine will be W minus X divided by 254, that is, molecular weight of iodine. And moles of Hg2I2 is equal to moles of iodine. Therefore, Hg2I2 can also be written as W minus X divided by 254 moles. Now, moles of mercury is equal to 2 into moles of Hg2I2. And moles of Hg2I2 is also equal to moles of iodine. Therefore, we can write moles of mercury is equal to 2 into moles of iodine and this will be equal to 2 into W minus X divided by 254. Therefore, weight of mercury will be equal to moles of mercury multiplied by atomic weight of mercury that is 200.6. Now we know the weight of mercury in both the reactions. Therefore, total weight of mercury will be total weight of mercury will be that is w will be x divided by 254 multiplied by 200.6 plus 2 into w minus x divided by 254 into 200.6 solving we get x is equal to 0 0.73 w moles of hg2 i2 is equal to w minus x divided by 254 therefore weight of Hg2I2 is equal to W minus X divided by 254 multiplied by molecular weight of Hg2I2 that is 655.2 gram. Now moles of Hg I2 is equal to x divided by 254. 
therefore weight of hd i2 is equal to x divided by 254 multiplied by molecular weight of hg i2 that is 454.6 gram now taking the ratio of the weights weight of hg2 i2 divided by weight of hg i2 is equal to w minus x divided by 254 multiplied by 655.2 divided by x divided by 254 multiplied by 454.6 putting the value of x is equal to 0.73 w and solving this equation we get the ratio 0 0.532 0 0.532 is to 1 